YouTube, it's Samantha Shed. In this video, I will be going over a review I have for the Go to Gold palette. The reason why I want to go ahead and do a review on it is because I recently did a video of a one palette tutorial with just this palette, and I figured maybe if I'm going to do a tutorial with just it, maybe I should go ahead and give my opinions on it. So that's what this is for. Also, how do you like the new art that I have on my backdrop back here? I did it by myself, I colored it and all, and I made my name look messy and stuff because it's just like my personality. Ever since I came back to YouTube, I told myself for every 10 videos, I will put something up new on my backdrop. And it's kind of like a little reward system for myself, you know, give myself a little bit more exposure by showing you my social media and stuff. So I got to keep on rolling with it in order for me to get a full backdrop back here, just full of stuff. If you haven't followed me on Snapchat yet, my name is Samantha Shed, and just feel free to follow me. I will be following back, of course, and I can't wait to, you know, grow a community. Let's just go ahead and get started with the review. First things first, I think what I want to do is go ahead and swatch all these colors for you. Here they are. They all have different names. Some of them are matte, some of them are shimmer, and some of them are glitter textures. There are 12 shadows in here. All complement each other so beautifully. You can do several different looks with this. I use it all the time. I'm actually using it today. Um, I have flicker right here on my entire lid and on my bottom lid and I also have the color coal as my liner I use it like a cake liner you could say and I like what did I do I smoked it out basically so whenever I'm swatching anything that's powdery well a powder form I like to only give it one swirl and then I like to swatch it wherever just to see how much one swirl can actually pull off and I feel like it gives everything an equal chance if I just do it that one time and then swipe. Because you never know, maybe just for that one swipe, for one thing, it's really chalky. Nothing's going to come off. For another thing, it's so pigmented and finely milled that it just comes off like a dream. Now, fair warning, I do use a camera phone for everybody that doesn't know how I film. So the quality is not going to be that great at all. But I will attempt my best. I mean, I have my ring light in front of me and I have the phone in front of me. And I have my backdrop behind me, hoping that I have the best I can handle with so far and that I can afford. In the drama beside, let's go ahead and start with the swatches. I'm going to be getting the very top left color, and that is Luster. I'm going to swirl it one time, and I'm going to swatch it on the back of my left arm. And this is the color right here. It is a beautiful shimmery shade. It's the lightest shimmery shade from the group and I usually use this to highlight my inner corners and my brow bone but not today I decided I go with a matte a matte highlight but you'll see that color later. The next color is Gilded and it is the second brightest shimmery shade. This one is also very beautiful. I like to have it like right beside my highlight color which would be luster and then like have the colors getting darker and darker as I go, but it's such a beautiful color. I really do like it. Every now and then I'll use it as a highlight color, but not all the time. Next up we have Flicker. It is a glitter shade, and the problem about these glitters is that they are pretty, pretty glittery, in fact. And you can see right here some of it fell. Like, there's a lot of kickback when it comes to these glitter shades. They are very beautiful. Flicker, like I said earlier, it's actually the one I have all over my lid. And it's just, I wish that there wasn't so much kickback because if I don't tap off my brush, which usually I do, but today I kind of forgot to. I don't know how I did, but whenever I applied on my eye, some of it got into my eye and it just wasn't the best feeling ever. Of course, I was able to get it out safely and I don't have an infection or anything, but the kickback can be a withdrawal of this. Next color is Starlet. That's also a glitter shade. These two are the only glitter shades within the palette. It's a darker one, kind of rose gold type of color. So pretty. I really do like this. This one doesn't have as much kickback as Flicker does, but there still is a little bit. So again, one, one withdrawal of the color of the palette, but it's not that bad. We have another shimmer shade, and that is Opal. It's a beautiful shimmery plum color with a little bit of a gray tone in it. And I absolutely adore this one whenever I want a very subtle um, smoky eye or a very subtle um, deep deepener color of my outer corner. It's just really beautiful, especially whenever it comes to like all the purple shades that I have. I think this one might be my favorite. I lied earlier. I forgot that Midnight is a glitter shade. 
And this one has as just as much kickback as Flickr does, as you can see right there and right there. But it's a beautiful, um, like, metallic, um, almost grayish, blackish color with a hint of blue and undertone within it. And it's so beautiful. I love putting this all over my lid sometimes. I don't use it as much as the matte black in this um, palette, but it is beautiful whenever I want, like, maybe... Um, a sparkly smoky eye or possibly like if I'm using the matte black all over my lid I'll put that in the center to give it a highlight. The entire bottom row of the palette is matte and I'm going to swatch these on the back of my hand down to my wrist because I'm starting to lose room up here and I'll feel like going like that whenever I'm showing y'all. So the first color is Bone right here and it is a nice matte white this is what i have in my brow bone in my inner corner and i usually don't have a matte shade for a highlight because i never really thought of it that way but i mean it does work and i actually think it's really nice and it's just like the perfect white it's just a tiny bit chalky it could be um, more pigmented but it's not bad the next color is tan it might be a little hard to see on my hand because it kind of blends in with my skin tone i love to use it as a transition shade just because it is so close to my skin tone it's like a really ashy light nude color and I really do like it as a transition. It's just perfect for it. Next color is Singe right here. It is a really gray toned brown color. I like to use this one after to my transition shade to deepen my crease some. It is a little patchy though and a little bit chalky. So it is a little hard to work with, especially when it comes to blending. But eventually the work does get done with it. The next color is Scorched. I really do like this one. This one's a lot warmer than Singe, but it's not so warm to where it is really warm, you know what I mean? And I really do like it whenever I'm deepening my eyes with it or anything like that or using it on my bottom lid. I think it's really perfect for that, especially for a smoky eye. I really do. I really do like it. I know I'm saying a lot about it, but it's probably my second favorite color in the palette. The next color is Lava. It's a matte plumish looking purple um i'm not really a fan of this color to be completely honest just because i don't really like it and i haven't really found much use for it um it's not bad i've only used it like once pop like to put it all over my lid one time and that's pretty much it like i said it's not bad it's actually kind of chalky though and it's also kind of um kickbacky but the pigmentation is pretty good and the last color right here is coal. It is a matte light black color. Now this color is not really pigmented and it does take some layering in order to make it opaque and stuff like that. I do like it though. I'm using it like I said earlier on my as my liner sort of type deal and I'm also using it under my eyes to make it like my eyes like cat line and feline-ish you know. But I actually like it a lot. Only because if you do layer, it is a true matte black and there's no shimmer in it at all. It is completely matte and I do respect it for that a lot. So this, guys, is my rainbow arm of colors. If you, <laughs> I, I love swatching. I really do. So what all do I have to say about the Ulta Gilded Gold palette? I have to say that I really do like this palette. It's very versatile. It comes with 12 shades for only a couple of dollars. And it's just, it's phenomenal to me. Um, it was the, actually the very first Ulta product that I've ever bought. And I haven't stopped using it since just because it's such a great palette. The only color in here I really don't like is Lava. Because I haven't really used it for much. I, know, I don't really know what to use it for. But eventually I'll find out. It's just... It hasn't come to me yet, and eventually it will. I mean, it's purple, and I use purple, so don't say because it it's just the color. I mean, I don't really like the color either, but it's not bad. Um, now, coal is not that pigmented. It's really, really not that pigmented at all. But as long as you layer it, eventually it will come out to become pretty pigmented. So just take some layering. Of course, black isn't really forgiving, so that's bound to happen anyway. But for all the other shades, some of them have some really bad kickback and stuff like that. But that doesn't really bother me. Eventually, I'll just swipe it all away or I'll just use it for something else. And for the scents, they don't really have a scent tool. Just making sure that in case anybody needs to know that. Also... It comes in such great packaging. I really do like it, how it's magnetic and stuff. And the packaging to me is really sleek and very beautiful. And I just, I love gold. And especially rose gold. I need to get the rose gold palette, but still. So my overall review would be 9 out of 10. Only because some of the colors do have kickbacks. Some of them aren't really pigmented. But it's so versatile. Such a great palette to use. And I don't have a problem with that. I've been using it ever since I got it, and I'm really happy with it. So I suggest 
that you try it out for yourself, see what you can do about it, and yes, I do recommend this to a friend. So that pretty much wraps up this review slash swatches of the Ulta Guilty Gold palette. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment or questions, and I will be sure to comment back and question, not question, but answer you as soon as possible. Also, if you would like to, please check out my website for more content. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.